you had a question. Um, I was going to ask about your process when you're writing, because especially the piece from the memoir that you read, it was <coughs> you were like weaving together the setting and all these stories, your mother and the explorer. So, um, was it did they all sort of come out that way, or was it um, did you have to kind of fit that together? Well, and you're missing the whole middle part, but um, I I don't do anything in a straight line. So and and so um, I really I, I start as I was writing, starting to write this book, which really the only reason I wrote it was really I was writing short stories and nature essays and all kinds of things, and and this mother figure kept popping up, and I'm like, man, I can't even write an essay about a beaver and beaver behavior without my mother showing up. <laughs> so that's when I started writing about my mother, and I just I really. I really try to pay attention to what I want to see at that moment, and so in a way, it's very, it's very much like making a collage. And I had all these elements. I knew I wanted to have some elements from my mother's diary, diaries, 17 years of diaries. I knew um, I wanted to use bits and pieces of folklore and myth, um, and then the straight narrative. So I try not to worry about order. And I actually, I had a weird process, uh, I'll just tell you briefly, because at the time, I still have problems from this accident. And but back then, when I was working on the book, every time I wrote something the next day, I'd forget that I had written it completely, which is a problem. I'd start a chapter. It's like every day was Groundhog Day. So I built a cabinet and had slots for each chapter. At the beginning, it was slots for each kind of thing. So diary entries and myths and whatever. And um, so every time I wrote something, I would stick it in one of those sections and then go to that cabinet the next day and see what I had done the day before. So um, that's kind of why I worked. And, and um, I mean, right now I'm working on a, a a book for young adults that's set in northern Norway, and it's it's partially true. It's based um, set during World War II, but there's a whole fantasy element to it. There is uh, another world going on beneath the earth, and um, I sometimes I draw <coughs> pictures for that. Sometimes I write. You know, I I'm all over the place, and then eventually I have a. I feel like, okay, time to pull it all together, you know. But sometimes it doesn't happen until, I don't think that happened until like I was at least halfway or three quarters of the way through the book. So, 